What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need right up front, and if you want more, just stick around for a step-by-step -step tutorial. Today we're going to show you how super easy it is to get rid of that pesky title column when you're filling out SharePoint list forms. Stick around! I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd, I like maple syrup, all my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, first thing, let's go ahead and get that timer rolling. Alright, boom. So, you got your list and you're like, oh, when I add a new item, like, there's this title, I don't want that. Well, then you're gonna just go up here, click this little drop down, go to edit columns, you're gonna deselect title, hit save, get rid of that, ref fresh you fresh fresh and then click on the new item and then ba bam you did it all right so that was pretty quick actually um so let's actually roll back a little bit slow down take a breather get a sip of water and let's talk about this in a little bit more detail uh now first this is actually an update to some previous videos i've done um, where you have to go backstage and click a bunch of buttons and do a bunch of scary stuff um, but Microsoft has fixed that um, so we can just do it now by editing the fields that show up on the form so let me go ahead and uh, cancel this real quick here and we'll also tell you how to get rid of it from the view okay so if we go back in here click new item we already got rid of it, but let's say you wanted to bring it back. So we're going to bring it back just for demo purposes here. In the upper right, right next to copy link, you've got this little drop down here for edit form. And basically you can go into edit columns and you can, it will show you the columns that exist and you can select or deselect the ones that you want to show up or not show up on the form, on the data entry form. So if we wanted to bring it back, we can select it and then we can use this we can just click and drag to go where we want it to go. What's the triple dot say? Well, move down and put in a conditional formula, which is out of the scope for this particular video. Uh, so let's say we hit save. We are not going to save this item. We just needed to burn off a new item to get to this menu. We can hit the X. We can refresh. And then we will see when we hit a new item, there's a title. Now, Another thing I wanted to mention is, if you can use the title column, go ahead and use it. Here's a link to a video on how to actually make use of that column. Sometimes you can find something that works. Uh, I find more often than not, I end up needing to change it, but there are a handful of times where uh, I like to go ahead and use it. Now, if you do use it, there's a couple more things, and I think I have another video that shows you um, more in detail about what's going on under the hood as it relates to changing the name of that title field. So let's go ahead and cancel out of here. Um, just hit refresh just for good measure. And let's say that you want to use this title field, but the title title doesn't work for your particular scenario. Well, you can rename that. Now you can hit the drop down here, um, column settings rename. I am admittedly shy about using this because every time I've tried it in the past, it just never seemed to, it just got angry. It's the best word I can, I can tell you. So here's the most foolproof way I found to update the name or the title of the title column. We're going to go into list settings and we're going to bounce in and we're going to just click on that title column here and then we're going to name it whatever we want now I want to show you something here though I need to show you something just hang tight with me hang tight with me so now the name it it'll update just you got to, see told you all right so let's say we do a new item whatever we want okay now let's say you're gonna start working with a power app okay you need to keep this in mind the original name that you give to a column when you create it remains that same name like it's hard coded like you cannot get rid of it it might show like this says whatever we want guarantee you that is not the hard coded name of this column 
or if I bring this into Power Apps, I'm going to be dealing with the title column, not a whatever we want column. Don't believe me? Just watch. So we're going to hit the, um, we're going to go to the list settings real quick, and we're going to hover over the um, title column, which actually is whatever we want now. Look at the very end of that URL. You're going to see field equal title. Once you create the column, that is going to be the hard-coded name. That is another reason why uh, I suggest when you're naming your columns that you don't put spaces in there because it gives you, you know, it gives you extra characters that you don't necessarily need. So always name the top, name the column uh, without any spaces, and then you know, for the customer's sake, I go back and then I um, put those spaces back in so that it looks normal. All right, there you go. Thank you so much for your support. Please like, subscribe, share, and let us know what questions you have. If there's a certain video you want to see, let us know in the comments. Remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard.